Minneapolis added a bike lane along its border with Brooklyn Center to make it easier for Northside residents to connect to the parks along the Mississippi River by bike. But a neighbor says he believes the bike lane is creating confusion for drivers and causing crashes at a busy intersection. Maury Glover checked out the concerns. When we had a van that was pushed all the way back here behind the freeway fence. Randy Otteson has lived near the corner of 53rd and Lindale Avenue North for 40 years. But lately, he says the sound of honking car horns has become all too familiar after the city installed a new bike lane through the intersection. I'm extremely frustrated. This bike lane is just become an unbelievable problem. Otteson says since the two-way bike lane along 53rd Avenue was put in last summer, he's counted 19 crashes at the corner, including one this morning where a pickup truck was flipped on its side. He says the bike lane creates confusion for drivers and squeezes vehicle traffic to one lane in each direction for something he says few bicyclists actually use. Contributes to confusion. There's no police. People are ripping down 53rd Avenue to begin with. A city spokesperson says from 2013 to 2021, there were three crashes a year in the area. And since the bike lanes were installed, there have been four but none were related to the bike lane, although the city admits some crashes go unreported. In the short time we've been here, we've seen several near misses, mostly from drivers coming off 94, thinking the cross traffic along 53rd Avenue here is going to stop. We've also seen a couple of cars accidentally drive on the bike lanes, thinking it's a lane of traffic before realizing their mistake. The spokesperson says the city is aware of residents' concerns and have already added more lane markers to clarify how vehicles and bikes should navigate the new street configuration. You can see some of the debris that's left here from today's accident, right? Otteson recently lost his granddaughter Trinity to gun violence. And he doesn't want anyone else to experience the pain of losing a loved one in an accident he believes could have been prevented. It's not needed, it's not wanted. And it's become dangerous. It needs to go away. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9.